welcome back to the channel. Today is kind of a mess. This is the first video I'm like sitting down to film in my new space we moved. And the lighting's really harsh here. I have like a ring light going, but it's a small one. If you remember, I broke my like big ring light a long time ago and it's a pretty expensive ring light. Like I looked at the website to get a replacement bulb because the bulb is what broke and they have them, like they sell the bulbs, but they're out of stock. So yeah, I would really like to get that fixed soon because I have a window here, but it's not super bright. So you don't get in a lot of natural light. So it leads to me having the overhead light on very yellow, orange, it's very harsh, it causes a lot of shadows. It's a work in process guys, but just know that I'm working on it and I know it needs to get better. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump in. I have a quick video to do. It's not like my normal Shein hauls, which are huge and massive. This one, I just did a small one. I just wanted a couple things for summer and some new swimsuits. So I thought, I'll go ahead and film this. I did pick up some summer pieces. So I think I'm gonna start with clothes. So the first thing I got isn't actually meant to be a set, but it kind of ended up, not a set, but going together. I love these four set top things that are super popular right now. And I just thought this brown color was so nice and neutral. So it was a way of having the whole lingerie looking vibe that's very trendy right now, but keeping it neutral so it's not, I don't know, I like dressing fun, of course, but I'm very much, I wanna dress fun and dress trendy Trendy, but then when I'm wearing it and I'm out and about, I'm like, don't want anyone to look at me. <laughs> so I think this is a good compromise of like being with the trends, but keeping it a little bit more tame. Let's see. I got that tank top for $8. It's in the shade Coffee Brown. And I got it in the size, it says four. What is four? Oh, small. Also, all items will be linked down in the description box below. This also says it comes in three other colors if this is not your favorite color to wear. So the next thing I got, and these weren't meant to go together necessarily, but I think they're cute and I think they're really good. I wanted some shorts that weren't like denim shorts. So I saw these super cute, just high-waisted, I'm not sure how to describe this material. It's like, it's a little bit rougher, but then it's also soft. It's kind of like a stiff, tacky feeling. I really like these. They come up pretty high-waisted, and I will say they are pretty tight on the waist. Like, I can wear them, but part of me is a little nervous to wear them all day or like while I'm eating food, because sometimes, I don't know for you guys, but if I wear too tight of high-waisted and I'm really pushing it on that size, sometimes it can kind of give me a stomach ache. And to me, I, I'm all for a good, cute look, but not if it actually makes me uncomfortable throughout the day, so I kind of draw the line at that. They're high-waisted, pleated, detail roll hem shorts. They're $16. I got them in the shade Khaki. There are two other shades. Let's see, and what size did I get? Okay, so I got it in an extra small, which they say is a US size 2. The reason I got this is because it said the waist size was 26 inches. This definitely feels tighter than a 26 inch. I think it's just enough on the line that if I keep working out and stuff, it'll be okay and not too tight. But for those of you that are interested in these, I'd suggest maybe going one size up. Because even if it's a little big on you, I think these could be cute if they're a little oversized as well. Okay, the next item I got, which kind of, again, goes with that outfit. I think these are going to be my go-to summer shoes is lately I've been buying, I will say guys, for starters, I love Shein shoes. I've bought a lot of Shein shoes. You guys have seen them on my channel a ton. I think Shein shoes are kind of a hidden gem. They are usually the more pricey items on their site, but it's like pay less prices or rack room prices. So to me, that's justifiable and that's for like winter boots is like $40. For sandals, really affordable. I got these because I wanted different sandals than just flip-flops. I didn't want heels. And this square shape is super in right now. So I thought, you know what, let's just get a cheap pair of I'm said slippers of sandals and see how it goes. I'm really excited about these. I think they're super, super cute. Love the color. I think it's just a fun, neutral color. So the color is beige. I got them in a size seven. Guys, these sandals were $11. $11, that is such a good deal. I just think they're so cute and different. And if for some reason something happens to them, if I overwear them, if I break them, because I have a bad habit of breaking my sandals, they weren't that expensive. So 
I'm very excited about these. They're also very comfortable. I was a little nervous that the braided parts would kind of be rough and like rub up on my feet really harsh, but they're not super tight. So I don't get like that stiff. They're not like a stiff plastic braided feeling. So, so far no discomfort with these shoes. So I'd say it's definite five out of five stars for these. Okay, the first swimsuit I got was, I wanted a more neutral swimsuit. I like this circle style, it's very like 90s, 2000s, it's coming back. This is also like a, I don't know if bra style is the right word, because it doesn't have a clasp on the back. It's like sports bra, like it doesn't have a clasp, you just hope it fits you around. And then the straps are adjustable. And then here are the bottoms, I really like these, and it has that little like cute cross uh, what is that called? I don't know, like it goes down to like a V at the very top and they like cross really cute. My thoughts on this is that I think the bottoms are great, they have good coverage, I think they're really cute. I think the colors, it's neutral, but it's safe, I think it's a cute color. I really like this as a good solid cute swimsuit, but nothing too flashy. My only concern, and I want to know if other people struggle with this, is I'm not the most gifted on top, but I'm definitely not like super flat chested. But I've noticed all of these swimsuits are pushing really weird up there and making them look really flat chested and you get a lot of like side boob and it's like a weird flatness. And I've tried like adjusting the straps to help. I don't know if the swimsuit's too small, if it's just the style, like I don't know. But I don't think it's the most flattering up there. I think this is still a good go-to swimsuit. I'm spending the weekend on the lake, so I think this would be like a good one to not have to worry about, you know hanging out, but is it my all-time favorite? Not really, but good, not great. I'd give it like four out of five stars. So I paid $12 for this one. The shade is called Redwood and they have a ton of shades. They have 14 shades. I got it in a size small, which they say is a US four. Their like conversion to US always interests me because I would not peg this as a US four, maybe like a US two, because it is Pretty tiny. All right, this swimsuit I'm kind of on the fence on because it's very trendy and very fun, but, okay, let me just show it to you. So it is this super cute top. It's very trendy, it's super cute. It has like this cool texture on it that's like a ruffled, cinched thing. And then the bottoms are also very cute as well, same style, and they're just tie up on the sides, which is great for adjusting the sides. Here's where my concerns lie. Like I mentioned, none of these are that flattering on my chest, but moving aside from that, it does have this really cute clasp in the back. My only concern is like how easy is it to undo that clasp, you know, like if you're swimming, if you're jumping, diving into a pool, like how easy is this for it to come off? When I was taking this off to change, I went like this and I actually barely hit it. Like I was trying to find it and all I did was barely touch it and it just boop. So I'm a little nervous about this one. This may be like a suntan bathing, whereas the other swimsuit may be more of like out on the pool, sorry, out on the lake, tubing, water skiing. Like it's probably when I'll use the other one versus this one. I will admit, I feel like this is very much like an Instagram swimsuit versus like versatile swimsuit. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so this swimsuit was $13. They have three different colors, but they're all like the same like multicolor thing. One is a little bit more like blue, brown, and orange, whereas mine's like, I don't know, I'd say that just is full rainbow to me. And then there's one that's like orange and tan and light blues and yeah, but I wanted the real pop of color. I don't really get bright swimsuits that much, so I just thought this was fun, a little different for me. Oh, the other concern I have is the bottoms are very tiny. Very tiny. It's not that I got the wrong size, it's just like the narrowness on the back side. It's, it's pretty narrow. <laughs> so, like I said, probably wouldn't want to be like jumping off a diving board in those bottoms. And I got it in a size small. I'm a little on the fence about certain parts of this, but then I also think it's really cute. So it's actually a very similar top to the last top. It has the same kind of like wired underlining. It has the same metal clasp. Ooh, which way are we going? This way. Metal clasp on the back. It has adjustable straps. 
I think this print is super, super cute. Then you pair it with these bottoms. And I do really like these bottoms. I think they're, I will say also these, all these swimsuits have felt really good quality. I like this one, but I'm not entirely sure how to wear high-waisted swimsuits. This one, when it sits lower on my hips, it's like too tight. And then in the photo, the girl like pulls it up a little higher, I think. It's a little hard to tell because there is a skirt that goes with it. So I wore it higher and it felt better and I think it looked more flattering on my body. But then it is like wedgie central. But I do like this print. I do think this has like decent coverage. I'm still learning the best way to wear it, but the quality seems really good. And then my all-time favorite part is this wrap so it's like this and it has these two little ties on the end and you kind of just put it up on your hip and tie it and i just think this is a good one for walking around like i said i'm have some fourth of july plans this weekend and we're going to be out at a friend's lake house and i'll just hang out all weekend so this is more like walking around probably what i'd want to have on just a little bit more coverage i think this is super cute i think the quality is great i think the print is so fun i never had a wrap with my skirt i think that's really cute as well my only concerns kind of repetitive to the others i don't think it's super flattering on the top because it has that cute trendy clasp on the back i'm just nervous how well does that stay together i guess that's really my only complaints i'll hopefully figure out how to wear these bottoms so i don't look goofy or look like i'm making it hoochier than it's supposed to be it's 14 dollars and i got it in a size small all right the last piece is actually a little bit fancier and i bought it a little impulsively but i really wanted it also i should mention i'm obsessed with green i wear green a ton and i definitely wore green a bunch before green was cool to wear i think we've all noticed how people are wearing a lot of greens and like pinks this year i'm always in greens usually i mean i'm wearing this green jumper right now this is actually a jumper i got off of wish.com <laughs> so here is this green top corset style it's, but this is fancier. It's like this super soft, like silky feeling. It has this front divot piece. And if I'm being honest, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear this with, what occasion to wear this, but I'm throwing it into my, uh, oh my gosh. I'm throwing it into my suitcase <laughs> this weekend and I'll hopefully find a use for it at time to wear if we like go out to dinner or something maybe. I really like this. It's super soft, really comfortable. The shorts are really cute. They are a little bit tighter than I was expecting, but they're still like a comfortable material, really breathable. I just don't know if I'd want to wear this if I was going to like a buffet or somewhere where I was going to eat a lot. But I think for just like walking around, running errands, like pretty cute. All right, and then here is the other shirt. This one's just more like cotton, more breathable than the green one. So yes, that was the last item. I got it in a size two, which is they're extra small. They have nine colors that this comes in. I got it in the shade dark green and it was only $8. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. We're both sitting up at that point, like just staring at the door. And then it gets like, someone starts knocking and then it gets like loud, it's like, like really loud and then he was like what the heck and he runs up and he goes and looks through the peephole he saw the guy taking a couple steps back and was preparing to run in like try to knock the door down and then he yells go to my closet so i start running to hide in his closet i hear like this loud boom like really loud 